Hi, my name is Bill Farmer, and uh, you are uh, uh, visiting me here at the old Creekside Tavern, uh, Creekside Inn of Leroy. And uh, we, uh, my son and I, purchased the project uh, two years ago, and uh, have been working on it uh, for the past two years. Uh, our background is masonry restoration and uh, historic uh, preservation. Um, and that's one of the things that drew us to this project. It was a, uh, such a beautiful uh, location and a phenomenal uh, building. Uh, the uh, uh, building's got a wonderful history. It's a cornerstone to the community and we're really thrilled to be part of it. Um, we're anticipating having it uh, open as the Creekside Tavern and Inn in uh, uh, May of 2010 and uh, we look forward to uh, our opening at that point in time. What, uh, just talk a little bit about what's gone into the restoration, what you've had to do. Um. Well, interestingly enough, I mean, we, the building was in dire straits when we purchased it and uh, uh, the day we closed, uh, the back, uh, the south elevation collapsed. <laughs> so, so it was a bit of a shotgun start. Uh, uh, the building and uh, superintendent uh, encouraged me to start moving quickly, and uh, uh, we did need to. Uh, seven days later, the remainder of a portion in jeopardy collapsed again. Uh, Within that period of time, we had uh, mobilized a few days after that, and, uh, put, put our shoring in, uh, uh, Catenary Construction, which is a masonry restoration firm out of Rochester, uh, well known for all of its incredible restoration projects over the years. Uh, uh, it's a company that I'm closely affiliated with and a key member. And, so we got in here and got our shoring and cables and shored from the basement, first floor, second floor, and uh, uh, began our work of taking down the south elevation for openers and reconstructing it. All the stone was salvaged and reused. Uh, quite, a, quite an endeavor to start the project with. Um, and it's uh, being 120 years old and and maybe not maintained as well as it could have been over the years. Literally every area that we encounter uh, has required reconstruction of the masonry, the load-bearing brick walls, the exterior lintels, uh, the old uh, timbered uh, floor joists have been replaced, uh, and uh, structural steel has been put in, so it's structurally sound and uh, we're looking to uh, get into the mechanical phase of the project now.